a source s and a detector d are placed at a distance d apart a big cardboard is placed at a distance h from the source and the detector as shown in the figure the source emit a sound wave of wavelength d by 2 which is received by the detector after reflection from the cardboard it is found that the sound waves coming directly from s to d is in phase with the reflected one so by what minimum distance should the cardboard be shifted away so that the reflected wave become out of phase with the direct wave fine now first of all the two waves are in phase that is the one coming from here directly and the another one is the reflected one so they are in phase so first of all what i'll do is i'll calculate the part difference and that has to be equal to n lambda fine this distance is d by 2 and this distance is given as root 2 d so let this distance is o fine so the value of so will be equal to under root of d by 2 whole square plus root 2d whole square and uh, part difference will be given by 2 times of so minus sd this is the part difference in the initial case so the substitute the value that is 2 times of under root of d by 2 whole square plus root 2 d whole square minus sd that is d and that has to be equal to n lambda because the two sound waves are in phase so lambda is d by 2 2 times of d by 4 plus 2d square and square minus d which comes out to be 2d so d is d cancelled and comes out to be 4 fine now the question says that by what minimum distance should the cardboard be shifted away so that the reflected wave become out of phase with the direct phase now if it is moved by a distance x let's say this distance is x and this is the new point o dash fine so the two reflected wave and the direct wave will be out of phase but the value of n will be 4 right so we know that part difference in case of destructive interference is given by 2n plus 1 of lambda fine so in this case the part difference will now become 2 times of so dash minus sd so the value of so dash will be equal to under root of d by 2 whole square as usual plus root 2 d plus x whole square minus sd that is the value of d and substituting the value of n equal to 4 and lambda is equal to d by 2 I get 2 times of 4 plus 1 by 2 into d by 2 fine so it comes out to be 9 d by 4 is equal to 2 times of under root of d by 2 whole square plus root 2 d plus x whole square minus d so on solving this value for x the value of x comes out to be 0.13 times of d that is the answer